It happened, in fact, that I knew nothing of the matter until I was called by someone in the media mm. who asked me for a comment on it. And I had to admit that I knew nothing of it. And mm -hmm. I thereafter looked into it. By that time, Mr. Verde had already been released after a witness statement had been recorded from him, which was a clear indication that police did not at any time have any intention to, to charge him. I requested the statements. They were provided to me, I think, the following week, and I looked into them. The defense that is being raised by Mr. Verde is one that, indeed, the police should have investigated. And I don't want ever to be interpreted as suggesting that the police were wrong to investigate. My point has always been, why investigate for Mr. Verdi, but not for everyone else? Because invariably, when people are taken into the station, especially with this type of offense, they have something to say about it. They raise some defense in relation to it. And Very I, similar to what Mr. Verdi And I have not heard of any case before where police have gone out in that fashion to actually verify any of the facts being raised by, by the people in custody. And this was not a case in which one person went or two people went. Three senior officers found themselves on the scene to investigate. Do you then at that time seek to verify uh, the facts uh, as was presented to you? So this is what we have been trying to, to do. It's a little bit more time consuming when you're not going to rely on the police who are responsible for the case mm -hmm. to get it done. But this is what, what we have been doing.